Hey YouTube, small reviews here again. So today I want to talk to you about uh, the iPhone 7 smart battery case. And um, today I just want to show you a little bit about how you could, uh, you know, charge this case while having the iPhone uh, outside of the case and then just leaving this on the side to charge. Um, now one thing about that is, is uh, I made a video before of the iPhone 6 and 6S smart battery case and how you can leave that to charge you know while you do whatever it is you're doing and then it being fully charged a lot faster because it did take that 1.8 amps worth of a charge which you know for Apple and iPhones it's unheard of but that case did it so this is the iPhone 7 so I don't expect it to be the same results but we're here to check today on that so as you can see this is the iPhone 7 I did just put a uh, I, not just, but I put a screen protector on it just so that way you know a little bit about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you where the, you know, where the battery levels are at right now. And as you can see on here, I don't know if you can read that, but the case is at zero, zero percent. The iPhone's at a hundred. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to go ahead and take it off the case. Again, just so that way you can see, it's the iPhone 7. Again, brand new. So, what I have done is, as you can see, I have the 12 watt charger there. Uh, I have noticed that it really doesn't work much with the uh, 12 watt charger. So, um, this is something that I that I use a lot. And this is another uh, charger. As you can see on here, uh, it does do each port does do 2.4 amps max bottom right corner right there so uh, what I usually do is I use that charger now what I've noticed is that every time you put like a, a USB a voltage meter or amp meter uh, it works with charging uh, these cases uh, without having the iPhone in them um, I've had problems with the iPhone 6 6s smart case where I have charged them uh, just by itself with, with let's say an Apple charger and you know left it a whole night and it would only give me 17% back um, so I've noticed it with this and also it does help us by telling us how much charge is taking it so we're gonna go ahead and put whichever port as you can see on there if you see it is turned on so let's go ahead and plug this in as you can see the little little light is on now as you can see down here right now it is rated at uh, 0.9 amps and we're just gonna leave it there for a little bit um, I would recommend just forwarding to uh, you know forwarding the video so that way you can see um, you know what what the max is uh, I know this is not the max so I'm just gonna hold off on it just gonna wait and we'll we'll see what happens but I'm gonna see if I can hold this up okay right there it's holding up and I'm just gonna leave it there I know it's not gonna be 0.9 amps I know it's gonna be a lot higher than that maybe 1.4 1.6 we'll, we'll see here in a little bit And there it is as you can see this is exactly what I figured right now it is charging at 1.8 amps exactly what I thought now it's kind of hard to tell obviously if I just plug this into any of those outlets um, I've had better luck uh, in this conversion and this is exactly what I got on the iPhone 6 and 6s uh, battery charger so um, knowing that you know that this is a, a bigger battery now uh, the as far as the case goes um, I know it's gonna charge it a lot faster so um, it definitely is gonna benefit those who you know who need a charge a lot quickly and this number right here as you can see is it's just gonna increase the highest I've seen I believe was 1.86 um, so it's good it's it's working as usual and uh, I just wanted to show you now again uh, on the other video I did put it that it is a hack I guess this is a hack too I can't I can't say that it'll work if you just plug the cable into this and then the charger I'm sure 
the little light will, will turn orange, but I can't say if it's going to charge uh, how this is right here. I've only had this luck just with this. Oh, well, 1.88 I just saw there. I've only had luck with a meter attached to the to a non-Apple charger uh, when I've noticed it working. Um, so yeah, here this is just what I wanted to show you guys. And if you have any questions, you know, on this video, feel free to you know leave any questions, comments, and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer as many as I can. Thanks.